is Rach from Spiritual Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. Now, this will be for the 20th to the 26th of December 2021. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Don't forget, it's a general reading. It is not going to suit every single person out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, time can be fluid, energy can be vice versa, so keep that in mind. Okay, Scorp, what's going on? Scorpio, what is going on with you? I feel like somebody definitely has choices and there could be addictions, but I feel like someone needs to stop overanalyzing. Someone needs to get clarity and move forward. Um, you've also got the Knight of Swords in reverse and, you know, I feel like someone's just restless and unfocused. Um, possibly has a short attention span. They can't make a choice either. I feel like they're um, – I feel like maybe you make a lot of um, emotional responses, like – Yeah, I don't feel like things are going to happen in a hurry. I feel like, but at the same time, maybe that's because you're procrastinating or you're overanalyzing. Like, you're not trying to hurry things along. You're not really progressing at the moment, but I feel like you're kind of just stuck is what I want to say. That's the feeling I'm getting. Now, you've got Justice in reverse. You've got the Judgment card, the Knight of Cups in reverse the Chariot in reverse, and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Not good. I mean, you need to make a choice, and maybe because you feel like somebody is not being honest, someone's being deceptive or being dishonest and not taking accountability for their actions. Tell me about the Justice card in reverse for Scorpio. Yeah, it's in your head. Like, you think that this person is going to do you wrong. You could live with this person or it could affect your everyday, you know, your finances, that kind of thing. Um, it could affect your food, safety, shelter, all of those daily things. So maybe you're living with this person. Um, but I feel like, yeah, you're so trapped in fear. Like, you feel like... It's like you you self-sabotage as well. Like you think the worst about this person. You think that this person is going to do you wrong. And because you're trying to look at your, your life with a long-term view, it's like, you know, I feel like you possibly had heartbreaks with this person before as well. But you need to at least have a leap of faith that this isn't going to keep happening. You know, that this person isn't going to. And I feel like, as I said, work on manifesting what you want. Stop self-sabotaging. Okay, so... You are re reviewing the past with forgiveness and, you know, I feel like you're, you know in your heart whether you can trust this person or not and whether you wanted to or want to go back there. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, you've renewed, you've gone back to this person. And I feel like that was manifested, <laughs> that was manifested too. Like, you manifested wanting to be back with this person.
at the same time, you didn't really have a lot of hope for it. But there was definite decisions that needed to be made. And I feel like there was frustration and, you know, there was, it felt like there was always obstacles. Um, but I felt, I feel like you manifested or somebody manifested this person like coming back around. Maybe they've made some changes. Yeah, you've got to move on and leave the past behind. You've got to be determined to make that choice as well. And but there you are moving on and leaving the past behind. You know, I feel like you were resisting the change. You didn't want to... Or somebody was resisting the change. You know, there was a lot of bad luck that kept happening in this in this situation. You know, it was like, I feel like this person came in like Prince Charming, but they ended up being, you know, kind of like a bit of a fraud. I feel like they weren't what you thought they were going to be. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Oh my god, half the deck is wanting to jump out. Okay, why is the Knight of Cups here? Okay, I feel like there was a positive move. Somebody made a positive movement forward. As much as there was that you thought this person was more of a fraud than what they you thought they were going to be, you trusted your intuition and somebody made some sort of positive movement. Yeah, it took strength. It took, you know, choice. There was definite choices, definitely, with the with the two um, of swords. It definitely took strength, and I feel like you know, but somebody needed to. You had all the facts, and now you needed to make a decision. You know, you needed to uh, withdraw from the situation. But at the same time, you felt like you didn't, you know, have closure in the situation. But you did walk away. There could have been a lack of direction or some self-discipline needed. Um, somebody could have been bad with money. Um, also... You know, they needed to look after themselves and I feel like this could be your person. They needed to get them their financial side sorted out. Tell me more. Yeah, look after themselves and sort out their finances for sure. Like I just feel like there was a lot of unpaid debts. I feel like, yeah. Yeah, look, they also needed to focus on their self-worth. And probably getting some sort of financial job or something to get some finances in order probably will help with that. Um, I feel like the universe stepped in, though, so that there could be victory and success. And in the end, it came out like this. It's like... The choice is there, right? If this person sorts out their stuff, there could be victory and success. But in the end, it's whether this person chooses to, is what I'm hearing.
because it just felt like a burden. It felt like it was never going to get this Ten of Pentacles. There was never going to be this material stability with this person. Um, and that caused a lot of conflict, um, as I said, because, you know, what you want is someone like the King of Cups, which the King of Cups is you. This is you. And that's your card. Um, but... With the Six of Swords, I feel like you, you've got to move on from this situation. It's all been a spiritual lesson for you because there is going to be somebody though. And whether it's this person, whether they step up and become like a prince or whether they don't, There's definitely unfinished business. Do you feel like there's unfinished business? I just want to get... Um, I want to know an outcome in this situation. Okay, I feel like this person isn't who you thought they were going to be, as I said. They could be a liar, they could be lazy, they could be a fraud. They, I feel like though you're waiting for your plans to bear fruit and you feel like you're putting all this time and effort. So you're trying to resist a tower moment happening um, because, you know, you obviously don't want this to end if you're putting in all this time and effort tell me more the scorpio has an outcome what else is going to happen yeah you don't want to move on and leave the past behind like you don't want to let it go Work between them. Work between Scorpio and their person. It's definitely leaving you feeling exhausted and burnt out. Um, you have high expectations, but I feel like you're always just waiting. But you got the Sun card, so I mean, it's as I said, it's free will. It's up to this person, really. If they choose to make a change, if you let them go. It's kind of like free will. So, all right, that's what I have for you, Scorp. I hope that resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I will catch you with the next read. Thanks so much. Bye.